Welcome back to Paris Charles de Gaulle Airport, where today we're taking a very exciting flight on board Air France's brand new business class on the Boeing 777. This new seat was just introduced a few days before I flew it, and I couldn't wait to check out what Air France had in store on this eight hour transatlantic flight to New York. Now for this flight, I had assigned myself seat 11A by the windows, which looked to be a very comfortable home for the next eight hours. Welcome to business class on the Air France new Boeing 777. I have to say, first impressions, everything about this cabin is super impressive from this navy blue finishes to this winged horse design everywhere for Air France. It's been a really good first impression so far. One thing to know about flying this new business class product is that there's eight seats in the cabin in rows one and nine in the first row of the main cabin and the mini cabin respectively that have a lot more space than usual. And we'll come over here to check out these seats later on in the flight. But for now, you should know that you're able to select these seats 72 hours in advance. So if you're interested in grabbing them, make sure to take action at that time before your flight. Going back to my seat for now though, like I mentioned, I found the surroundings very visually beautiful. Here at the seat console, you've got a reading light, and then you've got this storage compartment with the winged horse design on it. Opening it up, there's a cream leather finish on the inside with enough space to store the headphones, a USB jack down below, and a vanity mirror on the side. There's wireless charging capability right here on the seat surface, and then a set of electronic seat controls and a tray table that slides out and folds over diagonally. Beneath the crisp entertainment screen in front of you, you've got the footwell, and a literature pocket, bottle holder, and further USB and power outlets to its side. And coming down here on the other side of the seat, there's a coat hook to hang your garments. Overall, I have to say this is one of the most visually beautiful cabins I've stepped foot in recently, with a distinctive sense of effortless chic that's very much on brand for Air France. Now, let me show you something super cool on Air France that I've never seen on any other airline before. This controller, actually has this little trackpad that you can point at the screen, control where you want your cursor to move. It's not necessarily the most functional thing because you can just put your finger out and scroll around after all, and it is within arm's length, so there's no real need for this, but it's just a little bit of fun and one of those elegant, classy touches that Air France does quite well. And the other thing I have to say about this entertainment screen, it's super responsive, it's super crisp, you can see that the resolution is really nice, and when you swipe your finger, it moves instantly. So it's definitely very befitting of this Air France new business class product. All right, we've taken off now on Air France new business class. It's a beautiful day out there over the North Atlantic Ocean. And because this is an earlier morning departure out of Paris into New York, that means that we're being served a brunch service for the meal and after a few hours towards the end of the flight we'll have some light bites to close it off. So even though Air France does the meats pretty well on lunch and dinner, this time we're not really going to have those options. Instead for brunch it's going to be between the omelet and the crepes and in my case I decided to go for the omelet and ask for a little bit of the extra crepes if they have some available. Breakfast is served and it really is, as they say in French, très intéressant. I mean, here we've got a salmon bagel. Looks really quite delicious. We've got some croissant, we've got some sweet bread, and then some yogurt here. They provided this packet of granola for us to make and put into the yogurt on our own. Let's go ahead and do that. And on top of that, there's this really nice strawberry jam that's been made specifically for Air France business class which can go along with the croissant as well. Now for the main portion of the breakfast, we had an omelette with cheese, celery, spinach, and tomato sauce. And this was indeed very appetizing and flavorful, and definitely better than the parsley omelettes that I typically get on Air Canada when flying back and forth at home. Now even though I had asked the crew if I could also sample a little bit of the crepes, they said that unfortunately it was not available because the other passengers ordered it. Now that the meal service is over, let's take some time to explore the various features here on Air France new business class, starting with the hot trend in business class seat design these days, a sliding privacy door. 
Now in my view, this is one of the better designed doors out there in business class because the partition slides out very seamlessly and fits into the holder on the side in typical Air France elegance. Now after having explored the full range of my seat in 11A, I asked the crew if I could go check out one of the vacant seats in row 9 to experience the sheer amount of space in the very front row. And this is the front row seats on Air France new business class. Now this is something that more and more airlines are doing these days. They're making the first row of business class this wider seat that you can actually pay a little bit of extra for and have some extra space. And Air France business class over here, I have to say, it is quite unusual having this much amount of space in business class. It feels almost like a cross between business class and first class, and I'm sure that was the intention. It does feel very luxurious, very nice up here. Let's see what happens when we turn this into a live flat bed. Yep, it's pretty incredible just how much space there is when lying down. This is pretty much a game changer when it comes to business class seats. So if you're flying Air France new business class, definitely see if you can snag these seats at the front row of business class for some extra space compared to the other seats. Not only is it super stylish out there in the cabin, but that also extends here into the business class restrooms as well. You can see the navy blue finishes down here, including the toilet cover as well. Up here you've got your baby changing table. And of course, a nice set of amenities here. You've got hydrating toning lotion, and down here, Vitality Freshness and Firmness by Clarins a Parisian brand. You've got your sink, of course, and overall it's not the biggest business class restroom in the world, but you can see that there's this set of mirrors over here that makes the space feel a bit larger than it actually is. Okay, I've wrapped up some iced tea and some hot chocolate here on Air France Business Class, but as I'm making my way through the beverage menu, I thought I would start actually trying something that Air France is very much known for, and that's their wine selection. I can't say I'm a huge wine drinker, by any means, but if there's one airline to actually try and develop your palate a little bit, it's gonna be Air France. So let's see what's on the menu. I spent the rest of the flight sipping on a delicious glass of Saint Estef, which left me in very high spirits as the pre-arrival snack was served. There's about one hour of the flight left to go, and now it's time for the pre-arrival snack service. Here we've got a puff pastry, with mayonnaise, fava beans, and pickled onion. Very curious to find out how this tastes. We've put it together like this. Let's take a bite. Probably not my favorite pre-arrival snack ever because it's a cold dish after all, but still pretty tasty. And as we pulled up into New York JFK, I couldn't help but feel very impressed by this eight hour journey on Air France's new business class. The soft service that I've come to expect from Air France was very much on show, even if I wish that I could have enjoyed some of their lunch and dinner instead of just the brunch service. But more importantly, the hard product on this seat is extremely impressive. Very modern, very new, lots of high tech features. And if you're lucky enough to snag one of the seats in row one or row nine, you'll have an unparalleled amount of space to enjoy to yourself that quite honestly rivals some of the best business class products in the world. If you have a chance to seek out this product on an upcoming trip to or from Europe, I'd highly recommend it as it's an experience that you won't regret. Now that we've landed in New York after a very enjoyable flight on Air France's new business class, you'll want to check out this video next for the last Air France flight I flew, which was an Air France La Première, the first class product. This is an all-time classic video. I'll go ahead and see you over in that video.